What is up guys, it is Robert of Movies with me and welcome to the Thor The Dark World movie review. So this movie stars your usual Thor cast, Chris Hemsworth, Natalie Portman, Tom Hiddleston, the usuals, and it is actually directed by Alan Taylor this time. Now in anticipation for Thor Ragnarok, which I'm actually watching today technically, so I don't know when this video will come up, uh, but basically I wanted to review Thor and Thor The Dark World at a much earlier time but i did not upload it way earlier instead i'm uploading it the same day it comes out god damn it <laughs> but what i've heard from this i've heard that this is the worst mcu movie this is what people mainly call like the worst mcu movie uh i think it's the worst critically and i think it's the worst uh audience wise and i watched this movie and i kind of sad i just thought about it i watched it and i guess i agree but it cut to me it kind of shows how good marvel is because i still think this is a pretty damn good movie like i was watching and i was like there is a good movie I, i'm having a lot of fun it's genuinely a lot of fun it doesn't have the same flair as obviously thor ragnarok is gonna have thor ragnarok looks to be amazing this movie is just pretty damn good though i had a lot of fun with it now in this movie basically there's this uh, uh enemy guy i forgot his name to be honest but he basically like takes like the power of like natalie portman he goes like inside of natalie portman that sounds very weird but y you see later on there's some things that happen uh you know it's a, a bad, it's a bad guy it's a bad guy thor has to stop him i mean you know usual shit <laughs> it's not like this movie is like civil war where it's like you know there's morals about friendship and stuff no this is definitely your typical uh the guy gets the bad guy sort of movie. There won't be any spoilers in this movie review, by the way, if you're just wondering. But I will say, obviously the most shining point about this movie is still Chris Hemsworth as Thor. He's just great. I have a lot of fun with him. That sounds wrong too. <laughs> uh, and him and Loki. Loki and Thor together as a duo, they're the dynamic duo. I think they're great. I think they're fantastic. I hope Thor Ragnarok proves me proves me wrong and Thor and Hulk are actually the dynamic duo and it works really damn well. But as of right now, I like Thor and, and Loki a lot. Them together is just gold on the screen. And you still have that uh, sibling rivalry in the aftermath of what Loki did in the original Thor. And I like that because he's locked up. And then uh, some stuff happens to his mother and so he he starts to feel the effect of it. And I like that a lot. That's why there are what I do like about this movie over Thor is there's a there's like some dramatic moments that are genuinely sad where it's like wow and you feel for these characters. I think where it falls is the villain. The villain is is some stupid guy. Like I don't I generally don't remember his name because I don't think he's memorable. I really don't. He's just this weird like white thing with these like black eyes and stuff. It's like ah, just, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. He's he's or whatever. So this would actually rank pretty low on my MCU uh, villain list for sure. I don't like the villain at all, really. The ending final battle of Thor is just not all that great. I don't think it's really gripping in a way. I don't think it's intense. I really don't. Now, apparently people don't actually agree with me, but I think the Thor and Natalie Portman, they work together. The relationship is pretty good. Um, however, I guess... I don't know if it's 100% the best because she's not in Thor Ragnarok. Well, I Hopefully they mention her in Thor Ragnarok. But like, it's a very fun movie. It's still a fun, funny, a little funny in some parts. Um, but it's still a fun movie with some characters that are pretty pointless, to be honest. Like there's an intern. The intern's just pretty much there just for Darcy to, for some reason, have a romantic relationship with the intern. I don't know why, but it just... It's for made for comedy that doesn't necessarily work. It sometimes works, but at the same time, it's pretty pointless for the plot. There's a pretty cool uh, scene where they go to a different planet, and I like that because they show like a whole action scene in there. While cool, you start to think about it, and it's like, yeah, but this world, I see all these people, like all these villagers and stuff. You don't really care about that world. Unlike something like with Star Wars, I feel like each planet is established and it just feels like you could care about everyone on that planet. This just kind of seems like, oh, it's a foresty planet. Let's save it. Like, it just doesn't, didn't work for me. But like I said, I still did really enjoy it. It's got good action scenes. It's got the characters. I like them a lot. And so, yeah, overall, I'm going to give Thor The Dark World a 7 out of 10.
It's a good movie. I do enjoy it. I really do think it's a good one. I don't think it's a great movie. It probably is definitely one of the weaker MCU movies. Uh, I'm going to see once I keep rewatching the MCU movies, but I still enjoyed it. I really did. Did you see Thor The Dark World? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know down in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thor Ragnarok. Ooh, I'm excited. Pretty hype. Apparently, it's the highest rated MCU movie. Let's, let's hope it lives up to that.